And so let's get started with the, uh, the, the standard question. Can you basically, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can you, can you uh, uh, take Wipotec and help us understand where Wipotec is in the supply chain? Okay, sure. So yeah, what you see here is a typical production machine which is placed after a packaging line or in a packaging line after a packaging machine as such. So we are basically there where the products are coming out of the packaging lines and uh, are in a certain shape and we are weighing them, we are handling them, we are printing them, we are verifying them and we are sorting them. So that's what we typically do. Okay. Um, so I know that you've been around for a long time in terms of, not yourself, but <laughs> Wipotec. And um, let's think back a little bit in history. Um, the first part of GS1 that really drove forward with 2D was, was healthcare. And really we're talking about almost 15 years ago now. And so healthcare's um, been leading us uh, in really this uh, 2D migration and now we have Digital Link coming in. Can you kind of think about uh, the situation 15 years ago and how things have um, progressed? Sure. Yeah, I mean, 15 years ago, everything started with some regulations. Um, most likely, everybody knows about the European um, uh, Falsified Medicine Directive, but also in the US, there was a, um, at this time in 2011 already, a California law in place, which was replaced by a, a national law later. Uh, however, um, at that time, we started to talk about serialized codes, and it was uh, serialized 2D matrix codes, GS1, of course, based, mm. um, because it's all about uh, global standards, of course. And uh, at the end of the day, um, in this, let's say, different industries, or in these regions, let's say, in that industry, we have been forced to, um, let's say, uh, work with, with these laws, forced in a good way at the end of the day, because um, the market was moving. And the, the thing, the special thing in healthcare is, and I think this is a big uh, differentiator to the retail industry, is that everything was based on regulations. Mm -hmm. And the regulations was the driver for implementation of codes. Good, good. And so do you see uh, a real change, a game changer happening now in, in the situations that you're seeing? Absolutely, because again, the drivers for the healthcare industry was the uh, regulations, right? Mm -hmm. In the retail industry, it's a bit different. Um, I mean, if we look to the healthcare industry once again, um, it's all about patient safety, of course. Mm -hmm. um, patient safety was uh, and is in the core, in the middle of all this. Um, however, you can do, um, let's say, with, with these codes, you can do transparency, or you have the transparency of the supply chains. You can do recall management. You can do inventory management. And on top of this, in retail, you could also do the customer engagement. So with that basis, I think this is really a, a big chance to implement um, the digital link codes into the retail supply chains. Exactly, okay. Um, so I guess we've really talked about past and now, now what about the future? Since we're, we're kind of doing a series of events here, let's talk about what, how you feel things are happening and work towards the future. Yeah, sure. I mean. I already mentioned, with all these, um, let's say, opportunities to improve your business, especially with the transparency of your supply chain, um, the future is, is, is quite bright, I would, I would say. At the other side, of course, it's also some challenges. It's uh, uh, implementing printing, it's implementing technologies into the production lines, the way the customers, or let's say the manufacturers are producing today, um, will be changed. Um, but nevertheless, there are solutions in place um, which can be used as standalone equipment, but also as an integration kit um, to make this work, right? So Perfect. Well, you keep pointing at it, so we probably need to do something with it. So maybe you can um, uh, say that, uh, talk about what you're about to display, and then we'll, we'll do the same thing, but you won't need to, your cards, uh, and we'll do a close-up so you can see what's happening with the, with the system. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. So um, what we're actually doing here is we are taking over the product, which would be packed in a certain, let's say, uh, production line. We are handling it with our transport belts. So they are running, or the products will come on our transport belt. And the first stage is the uh, print head, mm -hmm. which we see here, right? Um, so with the print heads, we will print the 2D code, the clear text, whatever is necessary to be done. Then we have the camera, which is uh, inspecting the print. So we are not just printing it, we are also scanning it and verifying the code. In healthcare, um, it's all about grading as well. So we know this uh, topic 
out of the last 10, 15 years. Um, but here, um, of course, we do the same quality checks. And then we are also weighing it. So we have this unit here equipped with a weigh cell. And the weigh cell is checking the weight of the pack if it was filled correctly, if everything, the content is fine and so on. And then we have a rejection system which would reject if everything, uh, if anything in the production goes wrong, right? So we have handling, printing, inspection, weighing, and sorting in one unit. Mm -hmm. And this is maybe also the, the biggest difference um, uh, that we are not, let's say, talking about components, we are talking about the whole solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I agree. And, it, and even if you now go back to the very, very first video, we saw the same sort of thing happening where you're printing the 2D and you're doing at least a, a, ver a verification of the data that's inside. And But here you're basically seeing the, uh, almost a mini production line in front of you. So, shall we? Sure. Okay. So, also, um, these are delicious chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Volker will have, uh, also has a booth out there, so um, if you want some delicious chocolates, you, the, the price to pay is you have to talk to him. So They okay. will be personalized as well, as with well. your name. Yeah, yeah, they can personalize. Okay, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm basically print, uh, putting the box on, on the conveying belt. It's going to uh, pass through, print, scan, weigh, and you'll actually see um, the, uh, the data being updated. Everybody ready? And you just see the code change, and there's the, the print example. So you can scan that, and we'll see more information online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. So um, maybe I'll ask another question for you. Uh, what's the, uh, the main takeaway for, um, an online, for our online audience and, yeah. and the people right here? Yeah, good question. So I think the main takeaway is um, make use of the lessons learned in healthcare. So in the last 15 years, we were uh, really uh, looking into all the different challenges and every failure was already done, believe me. So we know about the production lines, we know what's going on, uh, what the challenges are. Make use of it, make use of these um, experiences, and just adopt it to the retail industry. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. That's wonderful. Actually, 